A two-year-old boy died after being attacked by a very large dog in Maryland on Tuesday, April 4, 2023. The victim and his family are residents of Virginia and were visiting family in Maryland. The child had played with the dog all day, and when the boy's family was preparing to leave, saying goodbyes and giving hugs to each other, the dog attacked the boy inside the home. Responders found the boy suffering life-threatening injuries from a dog attack. While treating his injuries, the boy went into cardiac arrest. After exhausting all life-saving measures, the boy was airlifted to hospital where medical personnel pronounced him dead shortly after arrival. Both police and the family confirmed the boy did not provoke the attack, and allegedly the dog had no history of violence. Animal Control took custody of the dog for quarantine. The dog is a 145-pound male. That's a very big dog. A rescue, that's risky, described as a pit bull mastiff mix and has been owned by the child's grandmother for five years. A relative said, he just attacked him so, and the dog is very lovable too, so we just don't know what happened. It's very heartbreaking for him to be gone at such a young age. He was such a joy to be around. He was a very lovable kid, loved his mother, they were like glue them two together. The dog and him, they was friends. I'll say this. Ordinary dogs don't attack humans for the kill. Nothing a two-year-old could do to a dog can excuse an attack like that. A non-dangerous dog would react to a child's abuse, like poking it in the eye or pulling a tail, by moving away from the child. If cornered, they might snap to warn the person to stop it and back off. But to full-on attack a human? That is a dog breed trait that no one needs in society. Allegedly, this dog had no history of violence, but I don't believe it. I think it's something people say to protect themselves from being thought of as negligent or having callous disregard for the safety of others. But considering the widespread knowledge though denial, of statistics about bully breed dogs attacking and injuring or killing humans, to have one of these dogs and to allow it unsupervised access to a child it could hurt by just knocking it over, is negligence. Either they knew the dog was aggressive and won't confess to it, or they know the dog breeder type was aggressive and didn't care.